Okay, so what we're doing today is a dye penetrant, penetrant test. Uh, we're doing it on a redhead, a uh, brand new boker, and my personal Schrade knife. So what Sydney is going to do, she's going to pick them up. She's going to put them in the solution. Okay, so now we've got all three knives into the solution. So it takes about 10 minutes sitting in the solution and then we put them in the drying rack. Look at this. It was Alright, so now our time is up for dipping and Sydney is now going to take them out and stand them up in our drying rack and they have to stay in there for 10 minutes. So, what we do is time it. Alright, so now we got the three of them up. See they're nice pretty green. And then a lot of the excess will come off there. They dry up a bit. And then we will do the next step. So while we're waiting for that, I'll just let you know that we are using Sherman Double Check Penetrant. And that's what we use on all our dye penetrant testing. See we do have a bigger one there too, but I think it's empty. And so then our wash area, and then we redry them after washing. You see, you got a heater already going in here, and our dark room. I will main power on and lamp on. So I got to give that time to warm up, and then we will be ready to go after that. Right on time. All right, so it's been in there for 10 minutes. So now Sydney is going to take them out and put them in our sink. You can tell everything's nice and clean. Okay, now she is going to rinse them off. Uh -oh. yeah. Just Just gotta give them a good rinse. Handle and everything, especially the handle. Because that dye penetrant gets into every little nook and cranny. That's what it's meant for. So in the handle, you see the handle there, it's got all kinds of little, we're going to see all kinds on there. So you got to make sure everything's done. Okay, make sure you get it all. Like where your hand was and everything, don't touch it with your bare hands. Yep, got to keep moving it around, make sure you get it all. Very important to get everything. Because all this is doing, because we let it dry for 10 minutes, all we're doing is cleaning off the excess, everything on the top, which makes any indications easier to see. All right, that one should be good. And just put it in the bucket. Too kind of soap. Yeah, I'll rinse we'll some more water to that. Yeah. So you do that to each one. Don't rub them. Make this pair, we do it every one exactly the same. Okay. 
hot water. Yes, and we use straight hot water for this. So now that all the excess is washed off, you can put it down in. Uh, doing this test, we also find out if the uh, scales have been uh, put down properly, if there's any gaps under the scales. Uh, we will, it shows up when uh, we're doing our dip test, or dipping there. And you see the bubbles come up, so that means there's obviously the penetrant is getting under the scales. Now, we didn't actually show it because it was very little, but you see, we saw a couple of little bubbles coming up. And right now she is doing the boker, which they have been around for a very, very long time. In fact, it's one of the oldest continuous knife companies in the world. There we go. Now she has to take these gloves off. She's going to add some more water in there to make sure it's covered. Yeah, <laughs> Actually, since I haven't touched them, I think if I can find a pair of gloves here. I will get a pair. And Cindy can put on some fresh gloves. Yay. That's pretty good. All right, so now she's gonna bring the bucket over here. Here, here. Oh, so we need to putting on a clean pair of gloves so Did she can test them. Did you get any little ones? No, I didn't. Forget, she needs the little gloves. So now she's gonna take out out of the water, she's gonna push all the water out of that. So what she's got in her hand right now is a chamois. Just same type that you'd use on your car. Oh that one's not healthy looking. Anywho, so she's going to get the excess water off the knives. She can wipe it like that, but not, uh, not too much or too briskly. And then put it in here where the heat can get to them and it can dry them off. Because they actually do have to be dry to do this test. So she'll do it the same to each one. So we'll let them sit there probably for about five minutes to dry off. And by the way, if anybody's wondering, this is Sydney. She is my daughter. Hi. She is learning how to do this. She's done it once before. This is her second time doing it. So I'm going through each step with her as uh, you have to actually be certified to do this test. So we'll give that five minutes and then we'll go in under the black light. Thank you. No, need gloves on still. So, Sydney is going to get a fresh pair of gloves. The small gloves. Small gloves, yeah. She found the small gloves. You're the only one. <clears throat> okay, so while she's getting a pair of gloves on, I'm going to go get another pair of gloves for me. 
so that you always have to make sure that you do not transfer okay. anything. So, just putting them on our little wheelie table. And I will get behind and she can wheel the patients into the operating room. All right. We are now closing the door. All right, so I'm going to get Sydney to hold the camera here, and I will do these. I'm just getting my gloves on. As you can see, just working around here, I get that stuff on me. All right, so number one knife is my shade. You can see it's well used. So there's lots of scratches in it. No cracks in this one. No. Nope. So the shred is good. That one here. Very well used, but the good. The next one will be the redhead. Nope. You can just see where the water's dried. There was like water on it. But those are not holes, it's just where it's dried up. And because this is a hidden tang, we can't see the tang on it, but the blade is good. Now the boker. Same thing, it's not, you see just water droplets. So there are no cracks, no cracks in, in the scales either. So you can see the tangs, so there's actually no cracks on it. No cracks in the scales. And no cracks in the rest of the tank. So all three of these knives were good this time. So last time we had two fails out of three knives. This time all three are good. So that's how you do a die penetrant test. So thank you for watching. Uh, from Sydney and John, have a good day.